some economists believe that in the long run, an increase in the supply of money will result in an increase in the aggregate price level, while real output and money velocity remains unchanged. This belief is referred to as money neutrality. To explain this, we first need to understand the relationship between money and price level. The quantity theory of money states that quantity of money is proportional to the total spending in an economy. This theory is explained in terms of this equation, known as the quantity equation of exchange. M is the quantity of money or money supply. V is the velocity of circulation of money, which is the average number of times each unit of money is used for purchases. P is the average price level, and Y is real output in terms of units sold. Now, in a simple economy, where only apples are produced and consumed, if the money supply is $100 and 5,000 apples are produced each year and sold for $1 each, the velocity of circulation has to be 50. This means that each dollar is used 50 times to buy apples in a year within the economy. Monetarists believe that the velocity and the real output of the economy change very slowly. So assuming that velocity and real output remain constant, any increase in the money supply will lead to a proportionate increase in the price level. For example, a 10% increase in the money supply will increase the price of each apple by 10%. This explains the money neutrality belief that when money supply is increased, real output and money velocity should remain unchanged. The only consequence is that the aggregate price level will increase. For this reason, monetarists argue that monetary policy to regulate the supply of money can be used to control inflation in an economy. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.